Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Michael Levan. Thank you so much for joining me today. And what we're gonna be diving into is machine learning in Azure. Now this is gonna be just a completely getting started guide. It's not gonna go super deep into ML or AI or anything like that. One of the reasons why I wanted to bring this up is because if you watched Microsoft Ignite from March 2nd to March 4th, you'll notice a trend. And that trend is they're focusing a lot on mixed reality AI and machine learning. So I wanted to give you just a quick getting started so you can kind of get into the Azure portal and start playing around with it. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the demo. All right, so the first thing that I wanna show is the Excel spreadsheet. It's actually gonna be saved as a CSV of the data that I'm gonna be using for my machine learning process. So I actually got some data uh, as a sample application from Microsoft, and this is supposed to be for a diabetes test. So this isn't all of the data that was there. I just have, you know, three, uh, essentially three people or three pieces of data here. And that data is split up into a few different columns or categories, age, sex, BMI, and BP. So if you wanna use this data, please feel free to do so. If you wanna use some other data, everything should still work the same. I'm in my Azure portal here and on the search bar, I'm gonna type in machine learning. All right, we have a few classic options here, but we're gonna go with the newest one, machine learning. All right, and then we're going to create a new workspace here for our machine learning. I'm gonna click my resource group that I want it to be in, so Cloud Skills RG. I'm gonna give this workspace a name, so I'm gonna say diabetes test. Okay, and then as you can see, I can choose a region as well, so East US is fine. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a storage account, it's gonna create a key vault, application insights for monitoring. And if we have a container registry, we can add that in as well. Next, we could choose a networking. We'll just go with public, that's fine. All right, we could choose some data impact procedures and some data encryption if you wanted to, but that's not needed for this video. You can go ahead and you click review and create here. And this is gonna take like maybe, I would say two to five minutes to create. So go ahead and pause the video and then come back when you're done. And as we can see here, our deployment has now been created. So let's go ahead and go to the resource. So once we're at the resource, we're gonna to wanna to launch the machine learning studio. So you're gonna click launch studio here. Okay, so now we're in the studio and we can start doing things like writing our code in the Python SDK in Azure Notebooks. We can do automated ML designer, Really at this point, we're gonna focus on automated ML because we wanna just throw in a data set, create it and see what happens. So I'm gonna to go to automated ML here. Okay, and then I'm gonna click new automated ML run. Now I'm gonna to have to choose a data set. So I'm gonna to go to create data set from local files. I'm gonna give this a name. Let's say diabetes test. I'm gonna click next. Okay, so now at this point, I'm gonna browse for a new file. So I'm gonna choose that CSV file that I just showed you previously, and that's what we see right here. And I'm gonna click next, and this is gonna go ahead and this is gonna start parsing the data for us. Okay, and as we can see, that data came back. We see a few different columns here, and this is the data that I showed you in the Excel spreadsheet. So age, sex, BMI, and BP. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click next. And then we can kind of choose for the schema like what values we wanna be able to show for the rows. I'm gonna choose all of them. I'm gonna click next here, and then I'm gonna click create. And then now, as you can see on the bottom, this is gonna to start to create our data set for us. It's actually already done, which is awesome. All right, so now we have this data set available. I'm gonna click next. Oop, actually I gotta choose the data set here. Then I'm gonna click next. And at this point, I'm gonna to have to start configuring the run. So I'm gonna give this a name here. It's gonna be called an experiment. I say, diabetes experiment. I'm gonna target a specific column. So for example, we could do the age. All right, so now we're gonna to have to create a new compute cluster. So it's gonna to have to run on a virtual machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna leave all this as default to be honest. All right, we can see here that's gonna cost you about 29 cents per hour. So just ensure that after this video, after you go through it, you delete it. I'm gonna click next here. I'm gonna give this a name. I'm gonna say ML test. We could choose the number of nodes that we want. So we want at least one and a maximum of three. We can click create here. We don't need, we don't need SSH access for this, so it's fine. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click next. 
So now finally, we can enable deep learning if we want to. So deep learning helps to featureize text data and may provide higher accuracy. You can either choose that or not, it's completely up to you. All right, then we have some regression here to predict continuous numeric values, which is essentially what machine learning is, it's predicting data for us. Okay, and then we can go ahead and we can click finish. So this is gonna now start to create our new automated ML run, All right? As we can see, it's not started just yet. Let's go ahead and refresh. As we can see, that was about maybe like 15 seconds or so. Now it's started. And that's how you can get started using Azure Machine Learning today.